Uh, Coach, it's been, a, uh, it, it's been an awful lot of fun. Uh, my first experience uh, here with IHSAA.org, the first time that I've had the opportunity to put, put on a headset and talk about soccer in, in nearly 25, 26 years. Yeah. And uh, what a great thrill. And, of course, to be able to, to share this broadcast with you, uh, I just want to say thanks because an awful lot of fun. We got the opportunity to see a great match. Yeah. You're going to see another great one here yeah, in just a few absolutely. minutes. Yeah, absolutely. And, Mike, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to work with you. I'm, a true professional, and uh, it's been a fun night and a uh, pleasure to work with you. Well, I, I'm still a bit rusty when it comes to soccer. You know, I, want, I wanted to talk about guys going into turn one and turn four. I can't do that. We had anyway. a couple of guys going into some kind of a turn out here with the field. We had a couple of guys going yeah. into the pits, yeah. you know, uh, back, to bit, the, back to the garage for little, repairs. But uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, been this a was, great night. This was a, a great fun. match. It's wonderful fun. to see this kind of crowd out, and certainly the, the number of people that are now following IHSAA sports that can't be there in person, able to see these pictures and, and hear the the, uh, the programs live on IHSAA.org. And what a great crew we've got and uh, super pictures all night long. And as we mentioned, the girls' state championship game will come up in uh, just about 20 minutes or so. Uh, and so we uh, invite you to stay tuned for that as right now the, uh, the second place uh, medals are being awarded to Chesterton. The Trojans coached by, once again, Jim Sensible as they wind up a losing this championship match to Evansville Memorial, one to nothing. Evansville Memorial will close out the season at 23-0-2. And, Coach, something else. in the postseason, the Evansville Memorial Tigers outscore their opposition 36-1. to that, that is just silly, actually. <laughs> you know, it just... It's a testimonial to their work ethic and, the, and, and maintaining their game plan and staying focused, and uh, that's a tremendous stat. There's no question about it. Giving up eight goals uh, all year uh, is a tremendous accomplishment. So, yeah, with that kind of a performance, you, you know, you're running into a buzzsaw at that point, and this wasn't really a buzzsaw game. Memorial had some good opportunities, but Chesterton, God, they had, they had several opportunities, especially well, in the first, the first, half, first yeah. 20 minutes of the game. I mean, you know, it was a 50-50 a, a game as as I've seen, but uh, that those kind of stats when you look at Memorial's team uh, are very, very impressive. Well, one thing is for certain, Coach, as uh, this Chesterton team gets set to, to load up the buses and head back to the northwest part of, uh, of this state, and, and they'll remember this for a long time. Certainly what happened here earlier today in, the, in that sudden death penalty kick situation with Kurt Fant able to, to knock home that goal that, that wound up putting them in this championship game, something that this school can build on for years to come. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they, they just catapulted themselves into a, uh, a potential state power. They've raised eyebrows all over the state. You know, people are saying, who's Chesterton? You know, some people don't even know where Chesterton is. And they put themselves on the map, and, and they should be proud of their accomplishment. And you look at them here now accepting their medals, and they need to smile. I know it's tough to smile when you, when you lose and you get this far, but... They need to find a way to smile because they've put their, their program on the map. I know these coaches have worked so hard. These kids have worked so hard. Look at the support they have here tonight. It's just tremendous. Yep. This crowd is, I mean, three-quarters of it is, is uh, Chesterton fans, and, and, and they're in maroon and gold. And uh, it's it's tremendous accomplishment, and they, need, they really need to understand that and realize that and enjoy it. And to Bill Veith and his Evansville Memorial Tigers, uh, there's not much more you can say other than congratulations. He's down there talking to local television stations now telling them about uh, this, uh, his, I would have to say, what, his greatest team to this point? You know, he's had some great, great teams over the years, and he's had some great championships. This is his sixth state championship as a, as a head coach. Has he ever been number one in the country? I don't believe so. No, last year we were we, we wound up uh, number two overall. That was the highest boys ranking in, in state history. So so this is now the highest boys ranking in state history. We were the one last year, so they've, they've gone one, one notch up. Um, and He'll, he may say, obviously, he may say it's the greatest team he's had. They've gotten here three years in a row, and, uh, again, Bill is just such a class act. He's been a class act for 20-plus for years, and, and uh, he's, he's, he's deserved this. They've come a long way. Coach, thanks a lot, and we look forward to uh, hopefully doing this again real soon. My, uh, my maybe, pleasure. Uh, maybe doing some regular season games. Uh, just great, and I appreciate the, the invitation from Bob Lovell to be a part of this. Yeah, and, thank you, Bob. Uh, and uh, certainly uh, to, to you, uh, Coach Dan Capsalis, uh, uh, what great insight you've provided uh, throughout. And uh, you're going to have to put a hat on because where your crown was, yeah. it's left you with hat hair there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I got it. So now that they're wearing it down there. So uh, uh, just want to say goodnight and want to remind you uh, that uh, not to go away. Uh, we're going to take a short break. And uh, then uh, in about 15 minutes or so, uh, 
Uh, going to be back with uh, the girls' high school state championship game as Penn squares off against Indy Cathedral. But right now, boy, that Evansville Memorial team, they're just itching to get their medals and that big championship trophy. So for Coach Dan Capsalis, I'm Mike King. Thanks so much for being with us, and congratulations to Evansville Memorial as the Tigers win the 14th annual IHSAA Boys Soccer State Finals.